So let's go over to some Python on hardware news. We are still in beta. But so close to release candidate. Close to release. And uh, just a little bit of a note for those of you who like to collect, you know, these very memorable, like, version boxes back in the day, like Windows 95, Windows 3.1. Now they're collector. Like, they're, there's art that went into it. So we have a version poster. Like Claris works? Yeah, we have a version poster for each, uh, almost each one. That's so right, this I is CircuitPython 6. Yeah. And it's in our store right now, adafruit.com slash new. You can check that out. And in the newsletter this week, uh, stuff that's going on. Um, big okay. news, I think, is Visual Studio Code supports Raspberry Pi and ARM Chromebooks. So that just means more places to use and learn to code. And People really love Visual Studio. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's specifically for Python too. If for Python, especially, it's a really excellent. I mean, it's it's what's funny. People don't even realize, like you know, this is a very old uh, Microsoft piece of software, but it's it's yeah. fast, it's well supported. It you know, a lot of things are plugins. Um, so check it out. Yeah. So Great and also Python. ARM Chromebooks work yeah. so well. Um, Cutie Pie Circuit Python tricks. Uh, Todd's doing a really neat collection of uh, CircuitPython tricks. So I'm seeing those on Twitter. I'm also seeing these from a lot of different people. Check it out. There's all sorts of little neat things you can do. Um, of course, we have Halloween stuff. Scott's Deep Dive is coming up this week. Um, I'm going to talk about the SparkFun customer survey in a second. CircuitPython, Blinkbot. You can check out the programmable oh, yeah. chatbot that you interface using Bluefruit. For Connect Discord. App. Yeah. yeah. Um, for Circuit Playground Bluefruit and you can check out the code and more. Sorry, Twitter. no, there's a different Discord bot. So yeah, the Discord API, and then there's the Blinka bot. Yeah. Sorry, so Sorry the, I got that one confused. And that one. Um, here's a display the Cisco WebEx meeting status to everyone. That's um, handy. Yeah. You really need this. I'm in a lot of WebExes. Yeah. So um, you can use the Pi Portal and the Cisco WebEx APIs. Uh, Aaron put together an Ada box, and this is what the Clue and Soil Sensor stuff that we were up to. And we have all the rest of the news that we do usually each week from workshops to events and more. Kind have, soon. Coming soon. We're going to show some of the top secret stuff as well. New learn guides for CircuitPython libraries. We are up to 275. I think wow. that's... Yeah, it's pretty much... Will we want to do celebration at 300? Yeah, sure. Or okay. 276 because no, no one ever celebrates 276. I know. That poor number. So, oh, anyways, and updates from everybody and around the community. Yeah, so check do check out, out adafruitdaily.com, and you can get this newsletter delivered to you every single I week. I learn something every Big time. news in Python on hardware news yes. is the new micro bits here. I even have one. They sent yeah, me one. Off. Thank you. I have a video that we'll talk about, um, that the video will talk about some of the new features, but why don't you talk do you about... Want to, do you want me to talk about the features now or in the new product section? Uh, just spend a couple seconds because I'm going to okay. play this video. So uh, the new micro bit's the same size and shape as the old micro bit V1. It still has the 25 LEDs on the front. It's got two buttons on the side in the same location. You flip it over, and um, it's got a new processor. So instead of the NRF51, it now has an NRF52. So it's like a Cortex-M4 processor. It's actually very similar to the NRF52 840 series that we really liked. It's a little bit less flash and RAM, which is because the micro bit doesn't need that much. And um, they took, I think, some inspiration. I'm going to take credit the inspiration from the Circuit Playground. They added both a microphone and a speaker. I remember we chatted about Circuit Playground, yeah. how we thought having um, audio input and audio output would be a great addition. And I think when Microbit saw that, they were like, that's a good idea. And they added it, which is awesome. So now you can yeah. do um, voice control projects. You can like listen to sound or it can maybe do some machine learning with voice. Um, it's also got uh, the accelerometer magnetometer is the same. Um, it's got a little LED for the speaker, um, the alligator clips, there's now a little like notch at the bottom you can see. That's to make the alligator clips grab a little better. Um, the button is now an on off button as well if you like I think double click it. And I think the regulator is a little bit improved and there's apparently already make code and MicroPython support. So that's really awesome. And we're going to look and see if there's some way to maybe run a variant of CircuitPython on it. Yeah. Be, so we'll talk cool. about that new product section because we have this coming soon. You can sign up. But here's a video that they made, so we're just going to play it. You can now get even more creative with the sound on your micro bit. The latest version has an inbuilt microphone and speaker, so you can program it to sense and make sound instantly. You can also use sounds to add personality to your projects and creations. So you can program your microbit to express how they feel when different things happen. You can make it smile and giggle 
and even program the accelerometer to increase the giggle pitch as your micro bit moves. You can also experiment and play with the volume and pitch of musical notes and compositions in your programs so you could compose and send a singing heart to someone you love. You can program your micro bit to respond to sound inputs too so you can light up the LEDs with your voice or get it to respond to your claps. Your micro bit even knows when it's quiet so you could program it to enjoy a peaceful moment with you too. So how will you use sound in your microbit projects? That's a new microbit and that is our Python on hardware news for this week.